snorkel in Australia. So fun. Thanks to the guys at Sundive Australia. And I'm sitting here talking to Jai. Hi, Jai. Hi. Hey, there you go. Um, so just a couple of questions. So what are some safety tips for first-time snorkelers like myself? First-time snorkelers? Well, yeah. it's always good to go out with a professional company, somebody that's sitting on the boat like myself, keeping an eye on you for a start instead of just snorkeling out off the ocean. Where wearing a wetsuit like you are keeps you afloat. Yes, I did notice it. I had a nice little float. So it's pretty impossible for you to sink when, no. you, when you've got the right equipment Do you on. have to be a good swimmer? You don't have to be a good swimmer. Obviously, having some swimming knowledge helps when you're in the water uh, where you can't touch the bottom, but you definitely don't need to be a good swimmer. We also have some flotation devices that we give to people that are very, very nervous about snorkeling. You should always snorkel with one other person at least, like a buddy so the buddy team. system. I yeah. you also said something about the currents. Yeah. I mean, in the ocean, there's all types of currents and surges and waves. Here, here in particular, we get the, the East Australian current that comes down that you've probably heard on like Finding Nemo, yeah. the EAC. Yeah, so quite often we get a current sort of hits the rock here and splits off both ends. So you do have to be aware of where you're snorkeling. You can't just go you know, snorkeling around the place and hoping that you're in the right place. Thanks again, Jai, and thank you to Sundive Byron Bay, Australia. Uh, we had a fabulous time. And just so you guys know, if you're looking again for something that's not too pricey, I believe the snorkeling does run about $50. $50 is correct. The whole trip takes about two hours and all equipment supplied. We run all year round. And we're gonna go back into the water.